Um, the casting of Jared was was relatively simple in, in network terms. We read a lot of actors. You had to have a sensitivity in your eyes, a sensitivity of almost a hurt little boy. You also had to be able to be a sociopath. Literally, Michael T. Weiss was the guy. I uh, went in and read for it, and um, then I went. To, I had a film at Sundance. And I went skiing, and I was skiing down the mountain. Thinking, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm doing these film things. I don't know. Television is such a, a huge time commitment. The fact that he was not a an everyday known face yet really appealed to us because we wanted people to look at it and go like, oh, okay, he's familiar. I don't know exactly who he is, and that's what a pretender was to us. The casting director took me bowling, convinced me how great Steve and Craig were, and how how magical their ideas were. And so he came in and he read the scene and the network was like, great, um, who else did you bring in? We said, that's it. If, if he's not the guy, we don't think we're going to be able to do the series. And they were like, we love him too. He has a, a great charm and a depth to his nature um, and a quirky kind of quality. He had a fantastic look. And it was, uh, it was Jared. You know, he really inhabited that character. Jared is, is, a, is an extremely interesting character to me. I mean, he's, he's extremely childlike and innocent. Yet on the other side, he's very angry and very dark and uh, wants to wreak revenge.